hello everyone in this video lesson we are going to learn iteration or looping in python computer program used to have repetitive task to execute loops are used to repeat the task with desired conditions python provides two kinds of loops counting loop and conditional loop counting loop is the for loop in python language this executes the body of the loop repeatedly until all the elements of sequence are available here is the flow chart for understanding for each elements in the sequence is been mentioned in the for loop it checks whether the next element is available or not if the element is available then executes the body of the loop that is statement or many statements and then it again checks for the next element if it is available again it repeats otherwise it exists the for loop the general format that is syntax for the for loop is for is the keyword and then loop variable is mentioned in is a keyword then the sequence and then colon after a indent the statement is given one statement is compulsory remaining statements are also mentioned here let us practically execute and check here i have three programs to demonstrate the first one is create a program to print 1 to 10 for this i will have a for loop with a sequence so the sequence which i take will be range of function which we already learnt in the previous class let us write the code for i take a variable called i for this loop i in range and then i open this bracket i need to print from 1 to 10 for that purpose i should take 1 until 11 so that 11 is not included and then i keep a colon here the next line will be after one indent i will print this i i is the element which is in the range see just i print here i let us execute this you can see the numbers from 1 to 10 has been printed it has come in the next next lines as every print statements ends with the new line so if we want to write it in the same line we have something called end equal to and then however we need to end usually it is backslash n that is a new line instead of that the end is assigned by s if i give simply open and close quotation it is not going to have any type of break there so it will be continuously printing let us even check this so you can see that it is continuously printing it looks like a single number so what we can do here if we write one comma or if we give the space so for example i give here two space and then save this and execute you can see with the space numbers are displayed the second one create a python program to print multiples of given number up to n terms here up to n terms multiples of given number so we need two inputs one i take it as m which is multiple so i give integer of input to take the integer type of input enter the number to have the multiples i take n again integer type enter the number of terms now i need to print n times so for that purpose i will give the range from 1 to n plus 1 so when i give n plus 1 it stops at n for i is the variable for me in range 1 comma n plus 1 print i take this i and multiply that with m so every time i's value keeps changing 1 2 3 4 until that n and then every time it multiplies with m and then it will be printing if i need to print in the same line i will be giving end equal to and then i can also give a comma or some space i give here now comma let us execute and check i give 6 as multiple 
and then I need 10 times. You can see all the multiples of 6 from 1 to 10 is being displayed. I have here the third program create a python program to print the sum of all even numbers from 11 to 50. I need to take the sum of these even numbers from this range. For that purpose I need a variable in the beginning the sum is supposed to be 0. So I initiate like that sum is equal to 0. Now I will give a for loop with i as a variable in range I can do in two different methods one is starting from 11 and ending at 51. How do I check whether it is even or not I will check with the condition if the i is the number traversing from 11 to 51. So 11, 12, 13, 14 it keeps going one by one uh, all the numbers but all the numbers are not even numbers. I will be checking i mode 2. So I divide by 2 and get the remainder. If the remainder is 0 then it is a even number. Then what I will do? I will take the sum of that. So that means sum plus equal to i. So after taking the sum I can print this. See listen while printing if I print inside the for loop every time it takes the sum it keeps printing. So until the last it will be printing every term of sum that I don't require. I will be printing this outside the loop. So I will come out of this loop by coming back to more indents print sum. So only the last sum will be printed. So you can see it is 620. What is the other way? I can directly take here the even number next to 11 that is 12 and then I can stop at 51 that is right but the step will be here too. So every time it will be jumping leaving one number so that 12, 14, 16 it comes and then it will be taking. For that purpose I don't need to check whether it is even or not just I will take the sum and then I check now again the same result we get. Let me show if the printing statement is inside the for loop what it does. As I said every time it prints see 12 and the next 14 so 12 plus 14 is 26 plus 16 right so that is 42 like that it keep printing every time it takes the sum at that end it is 620. This is just for your reference I am showing this is not needed. Hope the concept is clear now. Let us see the conditional loop in the next class. Thank you.